What is up everybody? This is Hobbs back with you to do a contest entry for the Adventures of Big Daddy J's 100 subscriber contest. I will link the link in the description for his channel. He's got a great channel. He is up and coming. And I figured I'd put on some footage from an old video I made for you guys to enjoy while I do the entry. So without further ado, this is when I went to uh, Windmill Farms here in Dayton, Ohio. Enjoy the video. Let's get on with the contest. Okay, question number one. Two things that people may not know about me. Uh, the first thing is one of my favorite things in the world to have ever done. One of the things I wanted to do was to fly. I wanted to be a pilot. And I came close to taking lessons, but my vision just didn't pass the test. The second thing is, uh, I really enjoy chess. I always wanted to play or learn chess. Uh, that's something that uh, I had a board for a while, but just never got a chance to really learn it. So that's something that I definitely wanted to learn and have gotten better at since I've been playing. I don't do it online though, maybe someday. My second favorite franchise in a movie would be Halloween. My first favorite franchise would be A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite franchise. Halloween is my favorite movie, but Elm Street would be my second favorite franchise. So that's my answer to question number two for the contest. And third question is my favorite non-horror movie villain would have to be from the comic book genre. Uh, that would be, actually I've got two of them, so it's, it's a close race. Normally, I would say that it would be Juggernaut, but I'm going to go with Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. And no, it's not because my name is Hobbs. Stop. <laughs> my favorite hero in a horror franchise would be Nancy Thompson. Played by the great Heather Langenkamp. I loved her character. She had a lot of passion, a lot of heart, and she was the first to do it, folks. Nancy Thompson. A close second to Alice. Alice from 4 and 5. From my favorite franchise of all time, A Nightmare on Elm Street. That is my answer to question number four, folks. She was one of the best final girls to ever do it. If I was stranded at an island, which five movies would I have to take with me? Um, the first one would be the original Halloween, 78. And number two would be The Lost Boys. And number three would be Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Number four would be Roadhouse. And then finally, number five would be the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That is it for that one. Guys, go subscribe to The Adventures of Big Daddy J. He's up and coming. Let's get him to 100 subscribers, connections. Let's get this thing going for him. Uh, he's got some great prizes to give away. I'm doing this as early as I can, so you guys can all go check him out. And uh, I think we're going to do some football talk maybe down the road uh, here in a couple weeks when football starts. Show them some love, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was about three or four years ago at Windmill Farms here in Dayton, Ohio. I'm hoping to go back this year, you know, because of COVID and stuff. We didn't get to go last year, so we'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is hump day. Have a great day, guys. Peace.